The American space engineers and scientists uh, designed the lunar module for the most delicate part of this or any mission, setting men down safely on another planet. The lunar landing craft really is one of the uh, strangest flying machines ever designed. Certainly it's one of the funniest looking machines, but it gets the job done. It's just under 23 feet tall, and it is beautifully constructed for its purpose, to land softly on the moon, a place with no atmosphere and only one-sixth of the Earth's gravity. This is how the Grumman engineers and designers answered the question, how do you build a lunar module? Something to get you to the moon, something to get you from the moon. To the descent stage, you add an engine fuel and oxidizer tanks to make that engine work. And when the spider-like legs necessary for a lunar landing are added, you have 11 feet of descent stage, the something to get you to the moon. The ascent stage has other requirements, room for two astronauts and the means to control their environment. An engine with which to leave the moon, fuel for that engine, and an electrical power supply. A docking tunnel hatch to enable the crew to get to and from the command module and a hatch to get to the surface of the moon. On the outside, reaction control engines to maneuver with. Radar, so that the ascent stage can rendezvous with the command module. Communications antenna for contact with that command module and with Houston. Put all of that together and you've designed something to get you to the moon and something to get you from the moon, a lamb. 